Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, well sadly I did not get enough sleep last night, uh, but I mostly feel fine, so I don't know, um, I guess maybe I'm getting older, so I don't know, my body doesn't need as much sleep, I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, oh well, but uh, you know, I'm sure it'll adjust because I did manage to get decent Nights rest two days and nights ago, so so it probably means it's probably not too bad. So I didn't do any research at all. I was actually playing too much Elite Dangerous, so uh, yeah, just been playing the hell out of that game. There's a lot of grinding just so I can build myself the ultimate uh, warship. So <laughs> a lot of grinding in that game to like unlock all the factions and then collect all the materials to upgrade my ship. But then at least once I have the ship fully upgraded, I don't have to do it again. Unless of course I want to buy another ship and then you know do the same process. But uh, you know we'll see. Alright, so anyway, uh, so yeah, I've actually recently been, uh, so yesterday I bought a book on advertising and marketing, and obviously, uh, you know, there is a book, it's, you know, um, it's very much about, like, everything's about sales and money, so obviously that's kind of a turn-off for me, because obviously you cannot put money first, right, because, you know, God always must come first, uh, and he also shits on product development, which is actually okay in a, in a lot of cases, but in other but in other situations, you actually do want a halfway decent product. So, uh, but um, but definitely, uh, it definitely uh, implores on me that you know if the, the way I look at it is God first, and then I create products based on that. So products at the top, right? You know, God and products at the top, and then right underneath that is sales and marketing, because that will make sense. Because even if you have a great product, nobody knows about it. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, what, what's the point, right? You know, you just, like no, you, you have the great, you have the greatest thing in the world. Nobody knows about it, so you know. And it really makes me think that I honestly think that all the people that just say, "Oh, you can get free traffic, free blah blah,", blah I think that's all one hundred percent bullshit. I think they all run ads, right, on their YouTubes, on their channels to grow their shit. I just don't think it's possible to just do it for free because I've been doing this shit for free for years. I haven't seen shit. I do. I don't do too much different from everybody else. Uh, oh, thank you to the one person that subscribed. Um, so, I, I I don't know. And to be honest, I think it would just be a lot faster just to buy ads, right? Because because uh, last night I was binge uh, listening to watching you know retrospectives, like film reviews of like past movies that you know like they live back to the future series terminator 2 and you know like and of course dark knight and all that stuff it was actually really insightful and uh yeah and the guy's channel is like i never heard of him but he's got a pretty big channel he obviously creates like decent creates good very good content he does it like once maybe twice a week right his videos are pretty long 40 minutes or so on average 35 to 40 minutes i'm like just thinking to myself I don't think all that's for free. He must have been doing advertising at some point, right? Whether it was beginning, middle, or end, or something. But the point is, there was advertising. So I'm going to go over and finish this book, guy's book. He runs an ad agency called King Kong Advertising in Australia. He's apparently like number one there and quite, one of the top agencies in the world. And he does like hundreds of billions of dollars in like sales for himself and his clients. So uh, technically, I could hire him, right? But it's going to cost like a thousand and three grand a month. Uh, for the base, for the like the basic packages. In my case, I would just read his book and then just run the Facebook ads myself, and then just start small, right? Because uh, at least when I get my game comes out, you know, uh, uh, like I don't really need to advertise it, right? But I just want to see like, does this actually work? Like, can I actually make a game? Put it on Google iPlay or no, that's Apple. Google Play Store because it only costs twenty five dollars one time, and then Steam is a hundred dollars one time, so that's a fixed cost. Right, and I just see if I could get free marketing from that, and then just see if people will actually play the mobile version and just watch the ads. If it actually works, then yeah, I'll actually run advertisements because I just want to see the process of actually making a game, marketing it, and then see if it makes money. Like, because I know I definitely click the ads and I definitely watch the ads because hey, they're actually pretty good because Facebook knows what they're doing. And number two, I have to watch the ads if I want the free shit because. Oh, $5 for a microtransaction? Or maybe I would rather just simply watch 40 ads, right? You know, you, people love watching those ads to get the free shit. It's like, it's like the best, uh, it's like what I always wanted to do, incentivize people to do things, right? And pay, bribe them with money. 
But in this case, it's be it's the best because you bribe them with fake money because it's virtual shit, and you get real money in return. It's fantastic. And it's good because I know now I will be doing advertising, so I want people to be watching my ads when other people play other uh, their games, and then they see my game, right? And now I'm beginning to understand why adver advertisers and people are like so paranoid about conservatives and brand and brand damage and all this other shit. So it's uh, quite insightful. But that's a topic for uh, another time as I figure it out. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week is going to be a crappy 10. Uh, I can't believe it's already July 4th. Uh, it's actually in two days. Today's Thursday. All right. So uh, Bitcoin is dominating at 64.6%. 24 hour volume is still bad at 56 billion. So nothing new. However, it looks like crypto is up a little bit, but not by much. Uh, 92.47 Bitcoin. Litecoin's at 41.76. Uh, Doggy coin 294.3 million. So there's slight improvements today, but you know, nothing that really uh, holds the uh, thing. I, re I refresh this so many times. So, so June job reports are way higher than expected. Uh, the markets are way up. So the good news is this basically means the economy and everything is re uh, recovering uh, better and better uh, and faster too. So that's that's what we want. And the unemployment number is now down to 1.4 million. So that's very good. And I, th I didn't mention this, I think, yesterday, but it turns out that a lot of these unemployment claims are actually, they still temporary, a lot of them are actually still temporarily uh, employed uh, at a reduced capacity, and some of them might actually think, a few of them actually think they'll just be permanently fired, but most people think they'll go back to work. So this actually, because, so this unemployment R is actually um, overinflated. It's not actual, I mean, of course, it includes people who actually lost their jobs. But there are a lot of people claiming unemployment that are still kind of, kind of, that kind of have their job and will get their jobs back most likely. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, Eben is skyrocketing. That's good. That's what we want. Uh, actually, that's pretty big. Eight percent. It's better than the last stock from a few months ago that we were watching, and then it just turns out to be totally worthless. Uh, oh, that's the other problem too. Is um, option chains. I'm, I'm hoping in a couple of years they'll have option chains for this shit. Uh, option data not available. So, well, actually, we we'll, we'll let it load fully. Uh, okay, 4.8 million extra jobs. Actually. I'm not going to read this because obviously the headline just says everything. In fact, the book I'm reading says 60% of people only read the headline and nothing else, which is kind of insane to me because I always read beyond the headline uh, usually. Um, also, I'm actually pretty good at sales and marketing, at least back in the old day when I actually had a halfway decent product. Uh, the problem I always had was traffic, so actually, maybe I should rephrase that. I was always good with sales copy, but maybe not marketing, right? Because the marketing I always went for was free, and then, yeah, you get what you paid for. It's free. It didn't cost you anything. That's why your results suck. Uh, stock market is on a stock show after June. To, no, mortgage rates are super cheap, so why are there more people on um, Actually, she's pretty attractive. That uh, She's a redhead, I think. Stock market line, you jump. Okay, so yeah, we don't really. Treasury agrees on loan terms with airlines. So okay, so at least the airline industry is not getting a full bailout. It's a it's a loan that they repay. Uh, I'm sure they will repay it. Because there's a lot of people who really want to travel and they normally like to travel, but they can't because of the lockdown. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we go back up to twenty six hundred or twenty six thousand. So very good. Um, here you go. Well, that looks like an ad. Um, I don't know. I mean, you have to wait the three month mark, but we'll have to see. Uh, what's the summary on this? Uh, thousand, five thousand, market cap. This thing is so small. Yeah. I mean, we may not be able to short the market, so that means we'll still have to use. Uh, oh, man, I don't even remember the name of the site. Do I have it bookmarked at least? Uh. I even have predicted bookmarked on my Chrome, but not the fucking. Um, yeah, I don't have it bookmarked. Oh, I'm sure I could just Google search for it again, as as annoying as it'll be. But all right, JMC coins at seven to eight, so nothing new there. While we wait for, I'm hoping we can announce swap starting next uh, Monday to get people prepped for it. Uh, so you know, we'll see. 
Uh, 404 three, uh, is at 361 to 404, you know, no pun intended, so it's doing well. Uh, two by two is at 69 to 71. I actually uh, had my order filled at 70 somewhere. Uh, it looks like somebody went up to 71. So, I mean, two by two is holding tough, but I mean, unless we see some serious crypto movements soon, which is kind of doubtful, especially since everyone's still kind of wondering who's going to be president. Yeah, it's going to... 2x2 two two is probably going to, you know, probably drop eventually again. But at least its resilience is, you know, cl uh, very clear. Rix is still pretty stable too, 212 to 227. So Mitch is going to be happy about that. Uh, I already thank that person. Bori, Bitcoin, Bits, uh, no, Equities, Bully, uh, Bitcoin, because the U is silent. My well, price headwinds are in chain now. Uh, the remainder of the home, what about now? After you're a bit pay, adopt sick with a cheaper pick now. Uh, but that's good, but you know, I don't really care. So, intermediate sell almost 1 billion big, okay. Uh, even advice is covering it. Well, I mean, it's an unusually large amount of money. Bitcoin set for 288 key bull run in 2020. Popular Bitcoin, no. Uh, but coins, but under Ethereum's gravitational pull. Yeah, I mean, right now, no one wants, uh, I mean, that's a pretty nice uh, thumbnail, actually, so we'll check that out. I mean, right now, no one really cares about crypto. I mean, just look at this. Uh, it, it's been sagging for a while, right? I mean, after a, what seemed to be pretty awesome during the week of May 10th, uh, now it's just, like, cratering. Uh, no, I don't care. 40 Goldman Sachs has Bitcoin and 1 million upside knowledge traditional investment opportunities. I mean, that'll eventually happen, but I mean, the question is, can it, well, I'm hoping it'll happen in this, in this, in this bull run, right? So it'll skyrocket to 1 million. We all become millionaires. Obviously we intelligently dump before the, way before the, uh, the bubble pops. And then we, uh, you know, short Bitcoin at that point, or at least buy put options, because that's my form. Because I don't actually like shorting itself. I just want to buy the put options and then just dump it at the bottom, like when the market bottoms out. But 1.9 billion now on Bitcoin over crypto assets. What is the name of that damn site? Ah, oh, man, I'm just gonna try to look it up online. Uh, for some reason, XQC is also streaming. Uh, it's he's streaming really early, huh? Um, Bitcoin options trading. Let that's the site Ledger X. Yes, that's the site. Yeah, we'll have to. Worst case scenario, we'll have to use Ledger X. Yeah, that's the site. Uh, you know what? Let's put that in the. Uh, what? Oh my! Come on. Why not? Just not. Oh. Because I oh no wonder I was like where is the thing I didn't realize I swapped back so fast to Firefox that it was still I didn't realize I was in Chrome. All right, there we go. Now I find I I bookmarked Ledger X. So that's the worst case scenario. Just use Ledger X. Problem is I still only have an option out to one year. That's kind of useless to us actually. For for gold sex X X is Bitcoin one million. I'm not about uh Vital Booner says Ethereum will scale to a hundred thousand transactions per second. That's actually pretty insane. Like, okay, Billy, your body just brought home 29. Oh, what? This Bitcoin blockchain investor just bought a $29 million home from Elon Musk. Oh, and he paid with it for. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's true. Elon Musk did say that he was selling all his physical possessions or most of it. Uh, Ripple success could leave XRP in the dust. Well, at least it's nice to know that I guess a Chinese billionaire thinks uh, is still bullish in America, so that's a good sign. Ripple success could leave. Okay, so another another no news day. Wow, just no news. All right, so Trump is back. Slump. Wow, is this correct? Is this a twenty four percent gap? Dang, it's doing so well. It went from twenty percent to uh, now twenty. Now, now it's a twenty-four percent gap. Oh boy, uh, Trump's in so much trouble. Uh, I did actually tweet. So uh, here we go. So uh, what the hell? Trump has shifted to full election mode. Jason idiot Jared Kushner, and then this is an Axios thing. It says Trump now reg regrets taking idiot Jared Kushner's advice. Uh, advice. Now the problem is he has four months to make up for 3.5 years of total incompetency. Uh, Trump has gone, uh, has you know, come back much better than before. But uh, I mean, it's 
I mean, there's a reason why you don't wait till the last minute to do most things in life, right? You know, it's the same shit here, right? And you're the fucking president, so. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell has been arrested by the FBI. Ah, I was kind of complaining about why aren't we fucking arresting Ghislaine Maxwell. So I'm kind of surprised that Mossad and the Israeli uh, intelligence allowed Ghislaine Maxwell to be arrested, I guess. Or maybe she had some sort of falling out or some shit. Uh, but this is actually very good. Um, so it's going to be an interesting uh, dynamic because now that we're going to find out more about the Pato Bear Network that the globalists are running, maybe, maybe uh, I mean, uh, it's going to be complicated, that's for sure. So, of course, Trump's talked about uh, job numbers again. Very annoyed. But at least he now knows, A, he's got to make up a lot of lost ground, and B, he knows that people are pissed off about the statues, so... And he himself is actually pretty pissed off about the statues. And he even said to himself that he, he isn't going to do shit to uh, remove the Confederate names on uh, the military bases, which is very good because he's got to preserve cultural America. Right? As much as I don't like, say, Joseph Stalin, Russia, Russia still has statues of Joseph Stalin. So everyone knows where they came from. Brutal communist dictatorship, mass rape, you know, it's up to 60 million dead people. A lot of them were Russian, right? You know, Russians don't want to forget shit like that, right? Because they don't want another Joseph Stalin, right? I mean, even though they'll probably still credit him with, you know, kind of winning World War II, right? But it wasn't without its, uh, you know, flaws. Uh, USMCA replaces NAFTA as Trump delivers one of his biggest promises, so that's pretty good. Uh, he's actually even quoting Breitbart, which is pretty surprising. Trump announced that they're going to the area, we're complete, uh, blah, 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 so that's very good. Uh, he's talking a lot about this. Oh, here we go. We got uh, defunding the police. So he's going against that. Uh, okay. So I mean, you know, Trump's, you know, Trump's doing pretty well. He's working pretty hard. Uh, now with Ghislaine Maxwell actually being, actually, I should retweet something here. Now with Ghislaine Maxwell being um, arrested, this actually could be a really big thing too. It's also gonna, it's all, it also means that it's going to really make the globalists go into ultra panic mode. So it's going to be tough. Um, yeah, so what was going to replace you two? All right, I guess we don't have really much. We have no news, so I'd actually like to read what this says, but we'll keep this as the thumbnail. The central platform of our alter. They don't believe there's still a place for centralized platforms. I've been saying this this whole time, right? Also, if I'm an advertiser and I actually do worry about where my ads are showing up i'm going to want a centralized platform that's why youtube and centralized platforms in general will always have a place in this world however there's still a there's still room to you know kind of ba um balance out or somewhat counter the power of big tech that's why decentralization comes in right you know decentralization is a great check against uh, abusive power abusive governments and abusive money right you know in my case that's all it checks all the things right you know, because I work really fucking hard. I put a lot of fucking shit on here, and then nobody fucking watches. Well, actually, a few of you are now watching, and thanks to Parler, you know, but only because Parler is a centralized free speech platform, right? But it's still centralized. You know, I'll still entertain using it because obviously I need something that's not fucking Twitter, but I don't have a choice, and Parler is basically the best, uh, the best option I've got. Um. You know, Gab has failed because I think it's I think it's primarily because Gab was a little too free speech and a little bit too much like you know JQ mode. So that's probably why it got fucked. If it, if, if if Andrew Torba had actually just did what Parler is intelligently doing here, which is basically very general, very uh, very common, uh, very safe. Like this is all safe stuff, right? Just about everybody can understand this, right? You know, Bitcoin's not political. Video games by themselves are not supposed to be political, but they can be now nowadays. Memes are definitely not political. It's just any asshole can make a meme. So, like, this is very good, right? So, and on top of that, Andrew Tory, like, just... The one thing I, oh, I did hate about Gab was they removed the hashtag. I love the hashtag. It was the only way I could actually get my shit out and then get, get exposure, right? You know, even though I haven't gotten any more new viewers, at least I like that people are watching my shit, so that's better than nothing. Uh, will you stop with the auto plays? Uh, YouTube man, the crypto has been part of the industry, but however, the firm behind Theta TV, 
YouTube and decentralized platforms can coexist. They will coexist. I've been saying this a long time. Bad my YouTube briefly, blah, 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 blah. We definitely see the censorship of crypto kind is a problem. We really welcome crypto show on Daniel and MMC. Fully channel will become an MMO. It's more sure to get banned from being on the radio. Yeah, I don't think YouTube will be fully replaced by decentralized alternatives. I don't think the decentralized will really so kind of will probably be better safe for such a platform, but such decentralized can go to all to give sure that viewers will free to choose their content platforms online. Yeah, for example, like, you know, the leader of the group or uprising, you know, he got kicked off of YouTube and is basically getting kicked off just about everywhere else. He's not as bad as Alex Jones, thankfully. And he's pretty smart to understand that he needs to stay on even on Twitter and shit, even if he doesn't, even though he wants to really say what he wants to say. I know I want him to, but, uh, you know, he's got, he's got, he's got to play the high IQ, high impulse control card. You know, that's what I've always played. And it sucks, you know, it fucking sucks. But that's why God chose us to be the leaders eventually. The billionaires and stuff. Well, like billionaire in my case. Uh, but that's the price you pay. Theater runs, uh, but well, it's crypto partial share broadcast, esports, poker tour, apply, major blockchain, crypto, blah, 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 blah. Recently, Google Cloud buys blockchain, and gummy cryptos were announced as enterprise validators for the Theta network. Uh, so these guys can't be free speech then. Last month, Data needs a strategic partner with Gummy Crypto to enter Japan's 3 billion content market. Level revealed they are able to whitelist the firm's Data on TUI Fuel tokens with the financial services aid. Japan only whitelisted, but the says they'll be looking, looking to launch an integration with video streaming platform in Japan. Like, user Japan are a T-Fuel token rush for watching and sharing their favorite video content. Yeah, I kind of was thinking about doing something like this too, but it requires a lot of layers. So I think Brave was supposed to have something like that, and then when you watch YouTube videos, like somehow Brave would hook in. But the point, but that just doesn't work too well. It just doesn't work too well. Yeah, it's just like, eh, whatever, you know. So, uh, but, but with that being said, what these guys are doing is really good. Um, yeah. So if anything, what I would just think is, I would just have a site, and then it would just have the embeds of like YouTube videos, and then you just simply, you know, because because people watching on your website with the YouTube embed. So let's pretend I'm Theta.tv. People go to Theta.tv, they watch a bunch of YouTube videos on my site, and then they get a little bit of this T Fuel stuff. That I probably would have to send Google some some of the money too. So like, because you know we're consuming their bandwidth and shit, so they want to get paid for it, right? Because bandwidth is expensive, right? You know, because again, I looked in because I looked into server hosting for my multiplayer games. That shit is expensive, right? And Amazon is like one of the cheapest uh, providers on the market. Because you know, Jeff Bezos is fucking turbo monster mode when it comes to wanting to literally sell everything. So, yeah, so everybody's happy, and then you know, it's technically probably still a centralized platform. So yeah, you can people you can have people run ads on your shit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, so well, that was a good article. I have no idea what the title of this is, so if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. All right, so things are we're in a period of calm right now after everyone's been exhausted. Uh, supposedly, they're trying to set up some sort of Ch Chad or Chad zone right here in New York City. It's right outside uh, City Hall in Manhattan, so I don't give a shit. Um, will de Blasio do something about it? No, not at first, but uh, I mean, I think I, I think downtown, I think the City Hall area is already like kind of um, shut down anyway, so I guess nobody's gonna, there's not really a lot of residential areas. Uh, but with that being said, um, yeah, I, I kind of expect things to get start getting crazy. So right now it's the calm before the storm. So maybe in a month or two, I expect things to kick back into high gear. But overall, things are improving, uh, except Trump's poll numbers. So I don't know, but he's got a long way to go. He's got a very long ago. Uh, Alabama students hold COVID nineteen part prize for first person to get what the fuck. All right, I'm not. I'm not gonna read that because that's like a no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey Epstein, blah, blah blah. All right, very good. So anyway, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and I am gonna go, go play more Elite Dangerous and read my continue reading my book. Yeah. So that probably means I'll probably hold off on program. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much done with designing level, levels, but I have 15 out of 20 levels. All right, I need five more levels. I've got. 
let's see. I wrote simple glasses. So that's two pa So one pattern turns into two, and then one level is going to be named Jason after myself, my nickname. So that's going to be the last level. So I need one more design pattern and then create two levels out of that. So yeah, I just, I, I just, I'm, I'm suffering from creative burnout. I think is the term. You know. So just, I just got to give my creativity a little rest. All right, see you tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, well, everything looks pretty solid, if not boring, but I'll take solid and boring and improving over just bad shit. So, yeah. And it's pretty nice because now we're back into just making some money. Uh, Rimmel is not getting the benefits of this increased uh, thing, though, but oh well.